Assalamu alaikum viewers hope for best of your health and iman today's topic is cyanobacteria today we are going to discuss what are the cyanobacteria how they are classified what were are their general characteristics so let's have a look one by one all of these contents first of all the cyanophyta the word cyanophyta which is comes from a greek word kainos which means the blue and phyta as you know is a plant so like this they their mean uh, their name is like this cyanophyta like blue green algae or blue plant so uh, because of the presence of blue pigment and actually previously it was uh, named like mixophyta uh, mixo means slime because their surface is a little bit slimy so that's why they were named previously uh, mixophyta but now they are known as cyanophyta and uh, they have just uh, one single class which is cyanophyce and uh, they are included in the bacteria kingdom which is kingdom monera because they have many characteristics which are similar to the bacteria that's why now it is uh, you know classified with the bacteria along with the bacteria in kingdom monera and they are also known as blue green algae why algae because they have the chlorophyll and releases the oxygen so these are the characteristics of the algae that they use is the chlorophyll because they are photosynthetic and uh, the chlorophyll a which is the most important and they release the oxygen so this is the you know, that characteristic which makes them similar to the algae so in this way they are known as blue green algae and name is cyanobacteria that they are all bacteria as well as algae they, they, they have a mixture of the characteristics of both bacteria as well as algae and uh, then uh, it is uh, you know it is uh, mostly similar as you uh, as i have told it is green algae like the green algae because of the presence of the uh, pigment and it is blue uh, pigment which is present in the cyanobacteria so it is the most unique pigment which is present in the cyanobacteria that is why it is known as blue green algae and its pigment is blue uh, then comes uh, uh, general characteristics of the bacteria general characteristics of the bacteria is, uh, starts from the occurrence occurrence of uh, occurrence of this uh, cyanobacteria it is fresh water uh, you know uh, streams ditches uh, springs uh, you know uh, like uh, hot springs they can also uh, live in the hot springs so these are the places moist surface places so they live in these places like wherever the moisture so they live there in streams fresh water and ditches and all this and some uh, species are also terrestrial and which species are terrestrial they form the layers they form the layer in the uh, you know over the soil surface on the rocks so they the terrestrial species form the layers on the rocks so they cover the surface of the layer and they are also the algal partner in uh, pat, uh, you know pat, uh, partner in lichens lichen as you know is association so that's why they are the algal partner of the uh, lichens and they uh, live in the hot springs as i have told you um already and then there are some many species of the uh, the cyanobacteria are endophytes endophyte is a term which is used for those plants or the uh, you know uh, uh, for those organisms for those species which have the uh, which live in other plants inside the body of the other plants so that's why endo means inside and phytes you know plants so they live inside the body of the plant so these that's why the some species are endophytes and examples of endophytes are nostoc which is a cyanobacteria and live in a thallus of the anthocyrus and anthocyrus is a bryophyte the same with uh, goes with the uh, anabina which is a uh, cyanobacteria and lives in the roots of the cycads so in this way uh, uh, they are the endophytes and only few of them are marine just few of them are marine they don't live in most uh, you know salty water they live in fresh water and the hot water springs hot water streams as i have told you that hot water springs now the point come that it is or it can also be able to live in the hot water streams so uh, they are uh, they have no problem with the high temperature of the water they live in water and they have no problem with the high temperature of the water the second point the most important is the cell structure like what is the cell structure of the algae uh, cyanobacteria how they have their structures you know what are the important uh, uh, or if they have organelles or if they not have organelles um, whether they are they have cell wall or not so these are characteristics you know these come in uh, cell structure okay cell structure they are unicellular but mostly are the multicellular few are the just unicellular and mostly are the multicellular and some species are the members of the 
colonies so when they live uh, together you know uh, uh, many members they live together and form the colonies and if they are present in the colonies so uh, they live embedded in the gelatinous sheet so in this way they form the colonies they have single uh, uh, you know a uh, single of uh, if they have a a single cell chain of a single cell uh, you know then this is known as trichome a single cell in the colony is known as a trichome and if it trichome plus mucilage and mucilage if it is you know trichome have the mucilage also in, uh, you know covering or uh, inside between these cells so this is known as a filament so in this a single cell of the colony is trichome and if they have mucilage then it is known as uh, filaments uh, then they have uh, they do not have any plastids plastids are absent and pigments what are the pigments their pigments are not present in the you know chloroplast because they are bacterial species they are like bacterial species so they do not have uh, membrane bound organelles no chloroplast so their pigments are present in the cytoplasm and this is also known as chromatophores uh, uh, chromatoplasm sorry chromatoplasm because they have the colored pigments or their pigments in the cytoplasm and chromatophores actually that um, uh, that fit uh, that you can say that that uh, uh, filament where uh, that branches of the uh, cyanobacteria which have the uh, pigments of the uh, that uh, known as the chromatophores but the cytoplasm in the form of the chromato uh, chromatoplasm because they have their pigments uh, you know scattered form in the uh, present in the uh, cytoplasm and uh, what are about the cells how uh, the cell cells color is you know as you know is the most common and the characteristic distinct characteristic of the cyto uh, cyanobacteria is that they are the blue in color because of the presence of the blue pigments and what is the blue pigment blue pigment is phycocyanin so this is the exact name of the blue pigment what is a blue pigment it is a phycocyanin blue pigment and they also have the chlorophyll carotenoids phycoerythrin you know chlorophyll green carotenoids red phycoerythrin also red so like the these they have different uh, pigments uh, the mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum golgi body is these are as you know these are all the uh, membrane bound organelles so they are all as absent in uh, uh, cyanobacteria what about nucleus nucleus is absent they do not have nucleus exact nucleus you know but they have their the nuclear material their genetic material just as the form of the central body present in the cytoplasm so these were the like uh, cell structure what, what are the cell structures present you know uh, different uh, uh, types of the structures present in the uh, uh, cell of the cyanobacteria or what is exact the structure of the cyanobacteria uh, the next uh, uh, point which we uh, gonna discuss about the uh, you know uh, cyanobacteria the most important is the food reserve food material what are the food products what are the reserve food they uh, uh, they reserve for their energy production for their use in their time of needs so these are the reserve food materials they uh, they use they make are the sugar plant sugar uh, you know sugar materials glycogenes uh, um, and uh, uh, the minute uh, oil droplets so these are the stored food of the cyanobacteria sugar glycogens and oil droplets minute very minute oil, oil droplets and they have a proteinaceous compound which is known as uh, uh, you know cyanophysin which is one important compound which is a proteinaceous you know uh, the compound which is phyco uh, cyanophysin and they have ability to fix the nitrogen into the nitrates the most important characteristic of the uh, cyanobacteria uh, yes cyanobacteria and the examples of the cyanobacteria the common examples of anobina no stock oscillatoria and many more so these are the uh, some general characteristics cell structures and the reserve food materials of the uh, cyanobacteria next point about cyanobacteria about its you know characteristics the most important which is the reproduction of course without reproduction no living thing can be survive so that's why the most important point is the reproduction so how do the cyanobacteria reproduce Cyanobacteria have mostly the five types of the reproduction. How they do reproduce? The first one is heterogon, homogon. Sorry, homogons. Homogons are that type of the reproduction in which the filament break. Like this, uh, uh, you know, body of the cyanobacteria have filament. The filament break take place just direct it may be direct break of the filaments or it may be from the formation of a uh, you know one uh, 
यू कैन से दैट डिस्क फॉर्मेशन सो डिस्क कैन बी फॉर्म्ड सो दिस इज आई दिस इज द डिस्क सो दिस डिस्क कैन बी फॉर्म सो वैन द डिस्क इज फॉर्म इन दिस वे दिस कैन बी फॉर्म इन द फिलामेंट एंड द ब्रेक कैन टेक प्लेस सो इन दिस वे द होमोगॉन्स वन फिलामेंट डिवाइड इन टू द टू एंड इन दिस वे द रिप्रोडक्शन टेक प्लेस द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ द रिप्रोडक्शन साइनो बैक्टीरिया इज हैट्रोसिस्ट हैट्रोसिस्ट इज दैट टाइप ऑफ साइनो बैक्टीरिया इन विच ए वन फिलामेंट हैव ए वन सेल वन सेपरेट सेल like which is have the cell wall thicker than the other cells enlarged in size so in this way when the cell have the thick walls one uh, you know distinctive cell present in one filament and it is separated from the other cells and the filament break from this point so in this way the heterocyst and the one filament divide into two more four three so in this way the reproduction take place the third type is homospores homospore as their norm name shows that the same spores means like the apical spore the apical cell from the filament the same cell of the filament the same with the same characteristics of as the filament have apical cell just enlarged from the trichome it is separated and uh, then form new uh, cyanobacteria new individual so it act, act like a spore so this is it uh, known as homospores uh, the next type is echinates echinates are the special type of the spores like they have the vegetative cell just the vegetative cell along with the original cell wall you know the cell wall original which is present in the uh, all the cells of the filament the vegetative cell it uh, have the uh, cell wall similar to this uh, original cell wall of the filament it just separated vegetative cell and form a spore so when this spore formation takes place in a vegetative cell it is known as a kinetic type of reproduction in cyanobacteria the last one is the endospore formation their name shows that endospores it means inside me it uh, inside the filament vegetative cell uh, uh, form the several spores several pores when the several spores are produced uh, so what going to happen several spores are produced the, uh, many divisions takes place just inside the filament and in this way several spores are produced so these are the endospores which are formed and each spore give rise to new individual so in this way the endospore is a type of the uh cyanobacteria uh then the next is uh, that the motile uh, uh, you know uh, reproducing bodies motile reproductive bodies are totally totally absent in the cyanobacteria they do not have motile bodies uh, they do not have like you know sperms eggs or uh, you can say positive spore gametes so this these these are things are totally absent in cyanobacteria because they are you know monera they are primitive type they are bacterial like they are algae like so they do not have the Uh, uh you know these characteristics of the motile reproducing body they do not have a sexual reproduction process no never ever have a sexual reproduction in their life cycle so uh, this is the reproduction of the cyanobacteria so these are all i discussed with you Uh, the general characteristics some of the you know it's uh, 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 entomology of the uh, cyanobacteria the word comes from the greek word and uh, its cell structure its general characteristics its reserve food materials and its reproduction so this is the uh, introduction of the cyanobacteria so i hope it will be helpful for you thank you so much for coming on my channel don't forget to like share subscribe and comment and make sure to follow me on instagram bye bye allah hafiz